Alright guys, today I'm coming at you with my favorite SLG, this little lady here. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this beautiful, beautiful croc embossed wallet from St. Laurent. I've had this beauty for whew, not long, maybe three or four months and oh, I'm so in love with it. I usually use my Chanel card holder because I travel and wa walk around a lot in my mini bags. But I've been finding every excuse possible to use this beautiful wallet. Even in my mini bags, I try to squeeze it in and it does fit in many of them. Um, when I wear my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, I use this and it fits so nicely with plenty of room to spare because for those of you who have the pochette matisse, you know there's a lot of space in the bag. But anyway, back to this beauty. Saint Laurent is really doing a fantastic job with the croc embossing. You can see here, it's got this really, really gorgeous shine to it and it's very durable. I've gotten no scratches whatsoever with my nails or with coins or my keys. It's really sturdy um, and the detail is just so beautiful. It's with the silver hardware. You've got the signature YSL logo in the front. It's a perfect size. It's a compact size. Uh, here there's a zipper component or I should say compartment for your coins or receipts it's lined you probably can't see inside there because it's so dark but it's lined in such soft supple calfskin the entire interior is leather as well as the inside here it's so soft guys my husband who's not into really anything materialistic um, he's a simple guy he likes comfort over anything else but he does um, notice quality and when I told him to feel the inside of this leather even he commented that it was really nice so passed the husband test <laughs> but here you have one two three card slots on the other side another three card slots for a total of six and then on each side there is this slip pocket and you can put some cards some cash but really here if you want to put your bills there's plenty of space here for your bills so uh gosh i'm actually happily surprised i didn't realize i had money in here <laughs> so that's great um yeah i mean it's a simple wallet but with all the finishes you see the side here has the croc it's just so beautiful so so beautiful and there is a story that goes along with this purchase i bought this at the saint laurent store here in New York City. Um, they have such wonderful sales associates. They're really friendly. They're never pushy. They're not snobby. Um, I've encountered some snobby sales associates at um, Chanel in particular, I have to say, not to throw Chanel under the bus. I love Chanel, of course, but sometimes uh, their people are not the nicest. And I live in New York City. I am a New Yorker. I'm a native New Yorker. I am used to rough and tough. I don't expect a whole lot of niceties. But I will say that at St. Laurent, I always feel very comfortable and they're super helpful. And um, one of the sales associates saw that I was eyeing the sac du jour in the nano size with the croc embossing and I wasn't sure about the bag and there's a whole nother story about that. I purchased it from Fashion File and then I returned it because I realized that um, I mean, it was in mint condition. It was absolutely, it was actually an excellent, almost new condition. It felt like the, the bottom where the feet are, it, or it still had the protective stickers on. So it was just, it had nothing to do with the condition. I was very pleased. But um, when I played around with the bag for a little bit, I realized that it was quite narrow. I mean, it's a mini bag, right? So it's quite narrow in terms of the opening. And when I put my hand in and out, to get my items, it just felt like it was going to be super tight and really uncomfortable and possibly even scrape my hands. So I decided not to use it and I returned it right away. Um, also, when I held this wallet up against the Nano Sac Du Jour, for some reason it looked really wacky. This wallet looked humongous in, you know, in relation to the bag and the bag looked 
ridiculously small it just it didn't work for me and also the strap didn't work for me but that's a whole nother story um, but of course this I brought I bought brand new at the store and because she saw me eyeing the sac de jour at the time before I had ordered it she said hang on a minute and she went to the back and pulled this out I hadn't seen it in the store so that's a sign of a great sales associate you know you pick up on something when a customer is eyeing an item and you feel like there's something else that they would be um, interested in so as soon as I saw this my mouth just my jaw fell open because I thought it was so beautiful especially with the store lighting it just ugh, the shimmer and shine and the feel it's so smooth and polished feeling I grabbed it and I said yes 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 I will take this one and I'll think about the sac de jour um, yeah this is my one and only croc embossed item I I don't think I'm going to get any other croc embossed items I've got my fill with this little lady here it's just so pretty and feels so good so I'm not one to buy a million of the same kinds of items if I want croc embossed leather I have it now so I check that box and I'll move on to something else um, so hopefully as I make more videos you'll see that I have a different variety of SLGs and handbags that serve different purposes different looks I try not I mean I love black so you'll see a lot of black but I'll try not to get the same type of leather or the same kind of hardware same kind of pattern I, I try to mix it up so this will be my one and only croc embossed SLG and, and really I'm not going to get a handbag um, with this either since I tried it out with the sac de jour and I didn't I didn't love the bag um, you know I have one Chanel bag in caviar I have one Chanel bag in calfskin and I'm looking for a, a Chanel mini rectangular classic flap in the black lamb skin so I do try to mix it up and then with my other bags I mix it up with colors as well so you'll see that soon in my future videos but anyway i want to share this beauty this is a quick video but i hope you found it helpful it is still available i believe um both on the website and in the stores so if you're interested i paid 650 us dollars plus uh, obviously tax on top of that um and i know it's a little pricey for an slg but man is it worth it I'm really enjoying this one. So I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I would love for you to subscribe if you are interested in seeing other review videos and you'd like to follow me in the future. And I love questions and comments and feedback. So please don't hesitate. I'd love to see what you all are interested in and uh, answering any questions that I can. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.